Hello everyone, Wardfire here, although the game only lets me fill in seven letters, so I just filled in Ward. Have a new game here to play. Looks like a, a little cute little cozy game here. Secret Diaries Florence Ashford. So we'll see what this game has in store for us. We'll just click play. Oh, yeah, normal mode is fine. Diary of Florence Ashford. Bucklebury Manor, 1850. In my mind's eye, I recall the most beautiful and carefree moments of my life. That I've become mere memories now, my only reasonable father has lost his fortune. My once reasonable. To try and retain our honor, we sold all our silver and horses, but it was not enough. So I left the home of my parents and traveled to the estate of my future husband. The Marquis, whom I have never seen, was said to be rich, so now, once again, hope grows in my heart. And maybe, aside from rescuing my family, I will also find true love. Find romantic love. Chapter 1. Make a good first impression. Find your diary. Highlighted area like this marks an important place that you should search. Click here to cl close. Oh, click here to close. Okay, I see. Search the carriage. If you need a helpful hint, click on the clock. But beware, it needs to recharge after each use. Oh, we have a scene. Alright, we need a doll. And a purse. Uh, a seashell, a diary, a rapier, and a pipe. You are a rapier. Uh, a pipe. Seashell is there. Where do we have the diary then? Is this a diary? Yes, it is. Rose horseshoe bottle. Of course, the pipe. There are a lot of butterflies here. Um, horseshoe? There's the bottle. Sun ribbon and hair as well. Sun? A ribbon maybe yes hair so we're back on pipe and horseshoe that might be a pipe so we're oh there's the horseshoe well done you found diary take it with you it may come in handy thank you saving oh cool. take the letter from your trunk the spyglass shows you where interactive places are in the game um, trunk. Oh, let's see our diary. During the long journey to the Bucklebury estate, I had the time to think over my situation. I've chosen reason over emotions and decided that marriage to the Marquis is the only honorable solution for my family. The code to the trunk is 379. My parents have given me a letter for Marquis Henry, which I must give him upon my arrival. I thought there was a to him, so... Uh, check the combination to the trunk in your diary. This is your diary. Click the diary icon to review your notes. The diary will flash when a new entry is added. I need a combination to open my open the trunk. I think I noted it down in my diary. Indeed you did. Oh, you can go up or down. Oh, thank you. Three, seven, nine. Check the letter. Well done, you found letter. Take it with you. It may come in handy. Enter the manor and give the letter to the Marquis. Nice manor. Oh, can I go this way? Yes, I can. Oh, this is somewhere else. I can't run through the fields in velvet slippers. <laughs> it seems that the gate has not been opened for a while. Alright, we'll go into the hallway. 
Miss Ashford, welcome to Bucklebury Mansion. Unfortunately, Marquis Henry cannot greet you himself. Even better. I have some time to prepare for our first meeting. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Sure. If ma'am has a letter for the Marquis, please leave it on the table near the stairs. Leave the letter for the Marquis on the table near the stairs. Take the letter out of your inventory and leave it on the letter platter. Wonderful. I hope that the Marquis will read the letter soon. Now I will freshen up before meeting the Marquis, so as to make a good impression to on him. To him. On him. We have prepared a splendid bedroom for you, Mom. It's located on the second floor. I'm certain it will be to your liking. I know, I'm just- my accent's all over when I'm reading these people here. I can't decide. Dining room. This must be the dining room. It seems that it's being prepared for afternoon tea. Better not to disturb. Study. First, I must freshen up after the journey. Music room. First, I must freshen up. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, it's so boring. I can hear the voices of men in there. It must be the Marquis and his guests. I cannot be seen in such disarray. Bedroom. Find a hairpin, a comb, and some face powder. There is our bathroom. Take the hairpin. Our doll. Uh, look into the mirror. My hair! The maid has put my comb and hairpin somewhere. I also have to powder my nose. For real, or is that just a euphemism for going to the toilet? My hair. Oh, yeah, now we need a comb first. Pretty sure. Okay, let's go into the bath bathroom. I see the maid has already unpacked my things. I should have no problem finding my comb and face powder. There's the comb. So that's where my comb is. Well done, you have found comb. Take it with you, it may come in handy. Face powder. Use the mirror in your bedroom to freshen up after the journey. Attic. There's no need to go there at this moment. Are you sure? Maybe you should. Maybe he has his first wife imprisoned there. What is this? Some face powder stuck to the mirror and revealed a secret message. I wonder why someone chose such a strange way to communicate. Your family has been deceived. You must reveal the truth. A clue is hidden in this very room. What's going on here? What does it mean deceived? My whole future depends on it. And who left this message for me? Ha! Ah, mystery. I don't know. Search the writing desk. I think that mysterious message is referring to a secret hidden in this drawer. This drawer is locked and I have no key. I feel that this writing desk holds some secrets. I must open it as soon as possible. Welcome, Miss Ashford. My name is Mary Jenkins and I'm the housekeeper. Would you be looking for the key to the writing desk? Well, yes I am, Mrs. Jenkins. Do you know where I may find it? This desk hasn't been opened in a very long time, ma'am. I had a key in the kitchen, but now it's lost. Our maid has misplaced all the sets of keys. Could you help? Please, can you look in your bathroom while I look here? I shall gladly help this lovely old lady. I want to open this desk as soon as possible and find out what is hidden inside. Uh, let's see here. The bedroom is truly divine. A four post of bed and such large windows. But before I can enjoy it, I need to freshen up after such a journey. Someone has left a secret message for me. I was warned that the Marquis has deceived me. I must reveal the truth before I will become his wife. This lovely old lady reminds me of my childhood nanny. I will gladly help her. Right, bathroom. Let's check here. A uh, ladle. Yes. We should need that. Bathtub. Ah, the water's too hot and I just did my nails. Yet another set of keys for Mrs. Jenkins. You have found a set of keys. Take it with you and may come in handy. Mrs. Jenkins, I found a set of keys. One with a red ribbon attached. Wonderful, Mom. Indeed, this is one of my sets of keys. 
Uh, are there not more? We are looking for two more sets. If, ma'am, would be so kind as to look for them in hallway and dining room, I'd be more than grateful. I really must get back to the kitchen. Help Mrs. Jenkins look for two more sets of keys in the hallway and the dining room. Well, I know we know where it is in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, we can't get in right now. We saw it here, on the table here. What a forgetful maid, yet another set of keys. You have found a set of keys. And the, the dining room. <gasps> Kitty cat! I cannot move the chair as long as the cat is in it. Sitting in it. Better not, he could scratch my hands. Okay, I, I don't think this is a good idea, really. If the cat eats the yarn and, and stuff, but... <sighs> Okay, fine. This hurts. Okay. Take a key from the top of the cabinet. How did he even know it was there? Oh. What is this? What is this? Set of keys. Great. It seems I have all sets of keys Mrs. Jenkins is looking for. Now I should get to the kitchen and give them back to her. Chapter 2. Find out the meaning of the secret message. Maybe we've been on chapter 2 for a while. I don't know. Return all sets to the kitchen. Sets of keys to the kitchen. If mom has found the keys, could you please hang them in the cupboard? I cannot do it myself since I am arms deep in batter. Okay, that is actually a legit reason though. I, so far, I am so enjoying this game. I love the atmosphere of it and just everything. Oh, Jane Austen. The housekeeper asked me to hang the keys in the kitchen cupboard. It's not a difficult task. I just need to remember to put them in the right places. Seems that every key goes um, specifically. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe all the green ones go... Yeah. I see, I see. Puzzle, puzzle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Purple should go here. Whee! You have found writing desk key. Take it with you. It may come in handy. This must be the key to the writing desk in my bedroom. Finally, I may find something out about the mysterious message. Unlock the writing desk. Between the keys in Mrs. Jenkins, Miss Jenkins' cabinet, I have found a little key to the writing desk in my bedroom. I wonder what I will find there. Miss Ashford, may I say what a great pleasure it is to meet a young lady whose charms and intellect I have heard so much about. How do you find Buckbury Manor? I don't even know who you are. You're very broad shouldered though. Thank you for so kind words, sir. The manor house is truly wonderful and overwhelming in its splendour. And my bedroom! Not in all my days have I seen a prettier one. I am glad it's all to your liking. Well, regretfully I must tend to a matter of grave importance. However, I shall return shortly. Oh, are you the Marquis? Was that Henry? Was that Henry? I'm accelerated. I met the Marquis. It was the Marquis. He is quite different from what I expected. Young, handsome, and even though he did not introduce himself, he looks to be a real gentleman. The fear for my future is slowly fading. Okay, but see, he didn't introduce himself, so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, that's not, that's not the bedroom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my, my first encounter with the Marquis! Oh, how ecstatic I am! Oh! Aww! Hi! Kitty, 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 kitty! My entire estate I leave in trust for the benefit of my cousin Henry with full rights to be granted him only upon the birth of his first son, Crawford Lord Bucklebury, 21st of April, 1840. Last will of the late Lord Bucklebury, Lord Crawford. It seems the Marquis Henry has lied to us. He will not be able to pay off my father's debts. 
I must write immediately to my parents. Well done, you have found page from Will. Take it with you, it may come in handy. Chapter 3. Inform your parents about the Marquis's real intentions. Prepare the quill. Get a feather from the birdcage. Alright. Uh, let's see, where were we? In the old writing desk, I found the will of the late Lord Bucklebury. It's caught and scares me. My entire estate I leave in trust for the benefit of my cousin Henry, with full rights to be granted to him only upon the birth of his first son. So our Marquis Henry deceived us. He does not have the fortune he claimed. It is not too late to call off the wedding. I must, I must too write to my parents. But oh, I'm almost out of ink and paper. My quill is blunt. I heard birdsong through the dining room window, so it won't be a problem to find a feather. So we don't have to go to the bathroom, I guess. There's no need to go there at this moment. All right, no attic. Oh, s oh, look, we have one page from Will, so there are more pages from the Will, I guess. Look into the mirror. Ah, we can look at that again. Place for a paper. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna... Um... Alright. Uh... The coat of arms of the Buckleberry family consists of a shield bearing a lion, above which there's a crowned helm. On each side of the shield is a lion rampant. Beneath is the family motto, L'amour dignit. Dignit? I would presume it's dignity in French, but it doesn't say that. It says dignit. Courage. Love, dignity, and courage. But who knows? Lord and Lady Bucklebury were in tune when it came to both status and interests. Lady Patricia loved music, and the quiet Crawford was a great sailor. However, it was seven years until their son, Anthony, was born. Why does it matter? Crawford Bucklebury with family, 1837. Okay, uh, dining room. Here. Bird feeder. The bird is too far for me to catch it. Maybe if I bring more seeds, then the bird will fly here. Are there any seeds in the kitchen? Yes. There might be. Search the cabinets. Um, two spoons. You a spoon? Yes, you are. A clock and a an onion. Do we need a dog? Yes, we do. You an onion? Yes, you are. A clock and a spoon. A clock and another spoon. Alright, a firefly and a brick. Uh, seeds, rope, and chicken. Grapes, fan, and tomato. Uh, grapes, brick, and spoon. Ah, here's the spoon. Some grapes and a brick. Oh, the music is great. Okay, brick. Where do we have a brick? Oh, <laughs> of course, something else. You have found seeds. Yes, I wish to definitely take the seeds with me. Maybe if I bring more seeds, and the bird will fly here, as it has flown here. Ah, feather. Here we go. Prepare the quill, sharpen the feather, and attach a nib. 
Here, I figured we could maybe sharpen the quilly. First, I need to collect all the necessary objects. Oh. Oh, we don't have a knife. Oh, is that it? Ah, search the drawer. Here we go. There is the knife we need. Okay. Why was there a nib just laying around in the kitchen? Well, maybe they make a lot of clothes here, though. Bring some paper and an inkwell from the library to your writing desk. Mr. Connolly? Do you know where I might find some ink and paper? It's urgent. I would suggest a mom looks in the library. The Marquis and his guests have finished talking and have gone for a walk. Library. Full inkwell and paper. The quill is perfect. Now I have to find ink and paper. Maybe Mr. Connolly will know where to get them. Is it the library? In November 1840, the frigate of Marquis Crawford vanished during a storm at sea. Just before midnight, he wrote, The water is swamping the, swamping the deck. I beg our Lord for mercy, for the sake of Patricia, Anthony and myself. Two days, days later, the bodies of the Marquis and his wife were found on the beach in France. Anthony was believed to have disappeared forever into the depths of the water. The frigate Patricia. Anthony? Who's Anthony? Oh, is this like the cousin? I mean, this is not maybe about Henry's parents, it's about like his... It's like... We'll see. There's an Anthony somewhere. So that's cool. Okay, let's just uh, write our letter. Dear father, I found evidence which shows that the Marquis has... deceived us. The money from the inheritance will only become his on uh, the birth of his first son. Also, alas, my sacrifice has been in vain. We won't be able to settle our family debts in time. Under these circumstances, I'm afraid to remain in this house, given the dishonesty of the Marquis so far, dread what else he is capable of. I trust in your judgment on this matter, Florence. Now I must seal the letter. Where did I put a seal this time? Alright, we will seal the letter in the next episode. Actually, if we click menu, we go up to the main menu, funnily enough. So, I guess we start from here. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the first episode. Um, I think this game... Fabulous. Love it. So thank you all for watching and I'll see ya.